This is a big, big news break we're bringing to you here on Five Live. Was there a link between the Mangaluru blast perpetrator and the Coimbatore blast perpetrator, Sharik and Mubin? Information we're just getting in right now is that the Coimbatore accused, Mubin, remember, who lost his life in that blast in Coimbatore, is possibly in some way connected to Sharik. We understand that there was a meeting that took place in Bengaluru between Mubin and Sharik. We don't know when it happened, but this is what we are given to believe by police sources. Mubin and Sharik reportedly planned terror attacks or bomb blasts together. The Mangaluru cooker, the Mangaluru cooker bomb was possibly, possibly built in coordination or with help or information or guidance from Jamesh Mubin in Coimbatore. Let's go across to uh, Sagai Raj once again, who's with me in Mangaluru. Uh, Sagai, police uh, looking at a, a possible, you know, solidifying of some link between Mubin and Sharik. What are you hearing? So what we get to learn uh, through our police sources is that uh, uh, Sharik and Mubin had studied me mechanical engineer to engineering together and probably that might be one of the connections uh, which have lasted long uh, between them. And we also get to learn uh, from uh, the police uh, sources is that he had travelled to Coimbatore and Uti. Uti is Nilgiris where uh, he also purchased a SIM card. So these are all on records where the police have said in a press meet. But what we also get to learn through our sources, the inside information is that you went to Coimbatore to meet Mubin. And they had also visited Singanalluru in Coimbatore. Hmm. And that's when they had planned to uh, make bombs in their respective uh, uh, cities inside their residence. And they had also purchased all those materials online. So that's when uh, these two had plans to execute uh, of uh, bombing Mangalore as well as Coimbatore. And uh, 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 Mubin had to uh, place a plant a bomb in Coimbatore and uh, uh, Sharik was given assignment to do it in Mangalore. And if you see the modus of operandi seem to be quite the same because uh, even when Mubin was taking that explosive on his way to plant, that's when it got uh, exploded and even in Shari case also. So there is something wrong because ADGP Alok Kumar said while addressing the press conference, yes. if there is an actual blast it happens, not even a single piece of cooker will be uh, visible for your naked eyes. So that is the kind of explosion that you will uh, get to see. But in this case, cooker yes. is visible even the regzine on the auto is still mm. in the place. Nothing has happened. Only people were injured, only 40% or 60%. If you notice any other blast, gelatin sticks, sharp nails, when it hits you, it is going to be very hard and people die when these things happen. Probably these guys are immature bomb makers. They didn't learn fully and that is the reason there is a blast which has happened on the way. So that's how the police is trying to link the dots right. and get connected with Mubin and Sharik. So probably once the statement gets from Sharik, everything will be clear. What is the connection between these two people?